second R of relationship giving is radical, to give radically by grace. In the previous video, we read a section that Paul wrote to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 9. Uh, he writes for them to get their gift ready, to come, that he can come and collect it. And he mentions to them that there will be some Macedonians that might come with. And Paul mentions the Macedonians because they knew about radical giving. In fact, he mentions them just in the previous chapter. Let's read that from 2 Corinthians 8. He says, We want you to know, brothers, about the grace that God has given to the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means, as I can testify, and beyond their means of their own accord. I love that passage because you see affliction and joy in the same sentence. You see poverty and generosity in the same sentence. And friends, this is the grace of God. The grace of God that enables us to go way beyond we ever thought possible. To make us live an overflowing life, an over and above and beyond type of life. And that goes for everything in, in our walk, in our relationship with God. But it also goes for our giving. There is grace for us to give radically. Now, of course, that's, that's a challenge because the question is, what, what is radical? When, when it comes to my giving, how much is enough? Well, I mean, is there something as, as enough? What is radical? And I just looked at my bank account recently, and here I can share this with you. I give to three different things. I give to one, I give 0.01%. To one, I give 3%. And to another, I give 14%. So what is radical there? You know, we see in the tithe, which we've spoken about, that that is 10%. I'd say, wow, that is radical. If you tell someone that you give 10% of what you have away, I think they'd say that's radical. There's a club called the 51 Club, where people give 51% of what they make away. Now that is very radical. I'll tell you what else is radical. You're free to give nothing. Remember, we said that God is the one who gives. He gives first. Uh, and He gives irrespective. We are blessed in Christ. We aren't blessed because we give. We are blessed because we are find, found in Christ Jesus. So you don't have to give. But remember, it starts in the heart. Okay? This is about desire. Relationship is about desire. And radical giving, it starts with a desire to give. Now, if there is no desire in you to give, then, then that's a concern. That's a question that that you've got to ask yourself, God is the great giver. And as we connect with Him, as we grow closer to Him, as we become like Him, Scripture says we're being conformed to the likeness of the Son, we too become great givers. There is a desire that is awakened in us to give greatly. So I would say when it comes to radical giving, let there be a desire in you to be like Him, to be a radical giver. And then we can employ some of these some of these principles, I'd say if you were helpful, I'd say a percentage is helpful. You know, we see the tie that was 10%. I, I don't know what that is for you, but start with a percentage because everyone can give a percentage. Whether you're earning uh, 100 pounds or 1,000 pounds, you can give a percentage. And it's not about the amount. You know, when the widow gave in the temple, she only gave a few pennies. Jesus said that she gave more than anyone else because she gave just about everything she had. You see, it's about the heart, the desire to give radically. You know, I'd say it's helpful to think progressively. You know, th say, Lord, help me to increase my percentage. As I grow and as I mature, I don't want to stay at the same place. Whatever that is now, let it not be the same in a year's time. That's where I'm at personally. I'm like, Lord, stretch me, increase me. I want to see a greater, I want to see a greater percentage in my own life of what I give. I'd say another thing that's helpful is, is priority. Make it a priority. I mean, that's radical. If you say, this is the first thing that we'll do, that I will do with my money. Before I pay my bills, before I go out and spend some money, I'm going to give. That's the first thing. That's my priority. And everything else will flow out of that. Friends, I believe that's really radical. But hear me in this. I think it starts with a heart. Lord, let me. I want to be like you. I have a desire to give radically. Take me on this journey to be a radical giver like you are a radical giver. We've got one more, giving regularly by faith.